Despite his old age, Humbert fell in love with this teenage girl. Because very long time before, when he was 14, Humbert wanted to spend the rest of his life to protect this beautiful girl. But unfortunately, his youthful love was interrupted by her premature death. That unfulfilled love left a big scar in Humbert's heart, which caused him to become sexually obsessed with a specific type of girl, aged 9 to 14. Once he was in his trip to a small town, a completely strange place where he could focus on working. At that time, Humbert was a middle-aged English teacher. In this city, he met the widow Charlotte, who was accepting tenants. After looking around the house, the filthy surroundings made he want to leave. But right after that, Humbert saw the aura of innocence from Charlotte's 14-year-old daughter, whose name was Lolita. That made his heart beat uncontrollably. Many years had passed, but Lolita was the first one who could touch his heart. Within a few seconds, he changed his mind and was determined to live in this house. During the days he lived here, little Lolita filled Humbert's mind. He usually peeked when Lolita changed her clothes. He watched her playing badminton, eating snacks. Lolita seemed more mature than her age, facing a knowledgeable Humbert. She was also attracted to him. When they were home together, intentionally or unintentionally, she used many different ways to have physical contact with Humbert. For example, she sat on him and played with him. On that day, Charlotte prepared to send her daughter Lolita to a summer camp. When Lolita was going to get on the car, she discovered that Humbert was looking at her from his room. She immediately ran back to the house. She rushed towards Humbert, hugged him and intentionally kissed him. The prolonged and fierce kiss made Humbert completely lose control. He realized that he would no longer be able to stay away from this girl. So as to continue living the beautiful days with Lolita, he made a bold decision. He got married to her mother Charlotte. Even though they were married, he didn't have any feeling with her. As a result, he secretly gave her sleeping pills every night. To him, Charlotte was just an old woman. He wrote all his love to Lolita in a dairy. Afterward, it was accidentally discovered by Charlotte. Too heartbroken and hopeless, she ran out of the house. Unfortunately, right when she left, she was hit by a car and passed away. Humbert ran after her but was helpless, he could only stand there and saw her die. But shortly afterward, he saw the charm in this situation. He drove his old car to Lolita's summer camp to bring her back. However, he told Lolita that her mother had fallen seriously ill and was being hospitalized. After many days staying apart, the two kissed passionately in the car. After that, they went to a hotel. And also at this place, Lolita encountered a handsome man, whose strange aura attracted her. Just after a few seconds, Lolita was completely into him. To her, he was like a torch in the dark of the night. However, Lolita had already belonged to Humbert. Night fell, Humbert returned to the room and lied next to Lolita. In his heart, he wanted them to become one entity. But he felt guilty if he consciously raped Dolores. In the end, the mind still won the heart. However, a surprise came to him in the next morning. Lolita intentionally sat on him. Afterward, she took off his pants and began to kiss him. We can easily know what will happen next. Lolita was like a dope to Humbert. Just like that, the beautiful days began. The two gradually stopped feeling shy or nervous anymore. They didn't even want to cover it up. But easy come, easy go. Lolita wasn't sure whether she loved Humbert. She started to become less dependent on Humbert. She asked for more money and wanted to live her life. Humbert brought her out of the town. But very quickly, he found out that they were followed all the way. Humbert startled and thought that someone had discovered his secret. But never could he expect. That guy was the man who Lolita had a crush on at the hotel. Of course, she knew he was following her. She usually took the chance when Humbert was absent and went on dates with that guy. Even though he saw everything. Humbert still didn't know who that man was. Which made Humbert mentally unstable. He often woke up in the middle of night. When they drove away from the hotel. Lolita got wet in the rain and fell ill. Humbert then took her to the hospital. When she woke up, Lolita began to ignore Humbert. He could only quietly go back home. As a result, the next morning, an officer of the hospital called him. Lolita had soon been taken away by a man. Humbert immediately started to search for Lolita and that man. He went to every hotel in the town to look for them. But all his efforts were useless. He soullessly returned to their old house, where he had got many beautiful memories with Lolita. Two years later, Humbert unexpectedly received a letter from his beloved Lolita, in which she told him about her current life with her husband, and that she was pregnant and in desperate need of money. According to the address on the letter, Humbert came there. He finally found his Lolita. She soon got married, but not to that mysterious man. That was a poor and deaf mechanic. Humbert asked her who she had left with. She immediately told him that she had fled with that man. The only man who made she go that crazy. But in the end, he forced her star in one of his pornographic films. 
Lolita then was kicked out when she refused to do so. Looking at her, Humbert knew that she was still into that guy. Afterward, he didn't hate her. Anyway, she was now pregnant. Humbert offered to take her away and take care of her. But he was rejected. Lolita said that all she needed from him was money. Hearing so, Humbert cried. In a second, he realized that Lolita had never loved him. After giving her money, he drove away. Humbert came to that man. He opened fire and immediately killed him. He hated this man. How could Lolita that he crazily loved become the toy in this stupid guy's hand? Afterward, Humbert drove to the place where they had first met. Everything ended. His beloved Lolita wasn't Lolita anymore. Humbert said that he heard children laughing. Apart from that, he didn't hear anything else. What made Humbert disappoint wasn't that Lolita didn't choose to leave with him, but was that Lolita had never truly loved him.